Hello and welcome to my channel. In today's video I am unboxing a doll which I bought from the Korean second-hand market. There is an app called Bonge Jangto which translates to Thunderbolt Market. Most Korean BJD hobbyists seem to sell and buy dolls there. I also got today's package of that app. If you don't understand and speak Korean, this app will be useless because all sales posts are in Korean and communication with the sellers is in Korean only. I bought a set of two dresses, two pairs of shoes, tights, undies and the doll which is Chica Bimoli for only 82,000 won. It's about 65 US dollars or 57 euros. This was an absolute steal so I could not pass on it. The clothes and shoes are in excellent condition, however the doll is in rather bad shape. The resin has yellowed, the face up has been removed, but inside the mouth are leftovers. The face has been sanded so the color on the head looks so uneven. Let's give her a glow up. I first unstring her and clean her body with magic sponge. She is a bit dirty. I also bought new elastics so I can change the old ones. A restringing tutorial video is available on my channel. Okay, let's clean her face. I used some cotton ball and nail polish remover to soak the color and leftover gloss for some time. Then I use a hard toothbrush to get the color out of the tiny edges inside her mouth. The next step is doing her face up. I waited for the weather with a humidity lower than 70%. I coated her head three times with MSC UV cut flat before starting to apply the pastels. The first three layers are the basic blushing. Whenever I make a mistake or the blushing turned out too intense, I use a dry magic sponge to wipe my mistakes. Since I want a sparkly fantasy face up, I add some sparkly powder. It's so beautiful and makes her look like a pixie. I have a white blonde and pastel pink wig for her, so the basic color of her eyebrows is pink. I use two different brushes to paint her eyebrows and a dry magic sponge to wipe my mistakes. Always make sure to spray MSC after each layer so you don't wipe any. For now I'm just using cheap acrylic paint from Daiso, which I combine with Tamiya Thinner X28. It makes it easier to apply the acrylic paint, but since it's a cheap paint, it becomes less opaque. I will soon switch to a liquid airbrush acrylic paint. I have to draw the little hair over and over again, so it becomes more visible.
I decided to draw some white freckles cause she looked a bit faint. I love adding freckles to my dolls faces. You will see that in a future video. And of course I add some teeny tiny dots which are her teeth. I have a weakness for dolls with open mouths. To keep the white fairy look I add white eyeliner. I have always loved the combination of cute and gore, so this little cutie is getting a bloody nose and scratch on her cheek. In my old BJD customizing era in 2016, my friend Alfgats inspired me a lot. I still love their dolls and style so much. I sealed the face up three times before adding the gloss to the lips, eyeliner, waterline of the eyes and the blood. Off camera, because I forgot to push the record button, I added glue to the eyelids and scratch marks and sprinkled glitter over it. Then I am adding a golden star to her forehead and glue tiny gems to the lower line of her eyes and to her ears. She looks so sparkly now. Last but not least, she's getting white upper lashes. I add some glue to the line of the eyelid where lashes usually grow and place the eyelashes there, but I always push them a little bit inside and glue the ends of the eyelashes on the inner side of the head. In my opinion, the lashes look more natural like that and they aren't that long. Since her body has obviously yellowed, but the previous owner bought the fist hands recently, the color difference is very visible. I wanted to blush all hands, but while recording this video it rained most of the time, so I just skipped that part. Here is her finished face up. I am very satisfied with it. What do you think? I decided to add some band-aids to her face. I found some glitter stickers and cut out the small part for the band-aid. I quickly want to make a cute bracelet for her. Unfortunately, I have only round and heart shaped beads.
So I decided to glue a ribbon shaped nail art capuchon onto the beads of the bracelet. Now it looks more cute and unique. It's finally time to put her all together. First I wasn't sure whether I should use the glittery eye, because the iris is a little bit bigger than the other eye. Never mind, it bothered me. Let's dress her up. Usually I would sew a whole new outfit for her, but my sewing machine is in Germany at my dad's house. So this chica bee dress will do it for now. I chose pink as the basic color for the eyebrows to go with this pink wig, but for some reason I'm unhappy with this style. Does the white blonde wig look better? My husband did not really like the two different eyes, and I wasn't happy with them either, so I changed them. The blue looks so vibrant, very beautiful. And off camera, late at night, I restyled the pink wig and cut the bangs a little bit. And this is my Chica B Molly, which I got second hand. I love how she turned out, and I can't wait to sew a new outfit for her in the future. Thank you so much for watching if you like this video please give me thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet please give me a chance subscribe to my channel for more awesome creative doll content like this